Now we got some live action. Oh, there we go. Yep. That was pretty sweet. River Rats, I'm below a poopy little bridge and I knocked the dust off of Slappy the bobber rod and we're going to see if uh, we can watch some floats dunk. I'm kind of excited about it, so let's go. The reason I'm down here on this poopy little bridge isn't necessarily because it's a bridge, but because there's rocks. And basically what I'm going to be doing today is called doodle socking. I mean, I think some people call it doodle socking. I call it doodle socking, but the gist of it is, is this is like bed fishing but for catfish. And it's really fun. The catfish come up in these rocks and they spawn and they'll zip out and eat a chunk of cut bait floating by them. I haven't done it for many, many, many years. But I love watching a bobber go under. And Slappy is a great bobber rod because he's long. It allows you to mend line over a long distance if you want to drift your bobber. There's something moving right there. And also allows you to set the hook from a long distance. Soft, forgiving. Oh, there's something right at my feet. I'm sure some of these are carp and gar. We'll be duking it out with the, the gar, I'm sure. And then the forgiving nature helps with uh, keeping fish hooked once they are hooked. Being able to drift a bobber isn't like the most important part because they'll be right at your feet lots of times. I just use this for drifting bobbers in small streams and there's usually a bobber rigged up on it. Oh, there's a gar right there. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, I don't even know if this spot's actually any good. But you don't know until you try. Yeah, I'm just gonna sip on some coffee, which I've spilled quite a bit already, and then hopefully find one or 10. And they will sometimes be in deep water, sometimes real shallow water. This water fluctuates a lot, so this might not be the best spot. I might need to find a steeper bank. Well, this is the furthest I plan on walking here. So, that's where we're starting. Give each spot 30 seconds to a minute. When you do it like that, you can cover some ground pretty fast. I like these big bobbers because they look like buoys in the water. After getting my captain's license, I have a newfound appreciation for buoys, mainly because I had to memorize 8 million of them. Would it be too much to ask for the first spot to be electric? Probably. I'm going to walk down to where those rocks stick out over there. Actually, I might make a cast across because it looks a little steeper and the rocks look bigger. I didn't get it close enough. Round two. Mm, maybe. Give it 30 seconds to a minute, reel it in, and set it a little deeper and cast a little closer. If you take your time and you're patient, occasionally you'll see, see like one's head poking up out, which is kind of exciting. Yeah, they'll spawn in water that shallow. I think most of the time when that happens, they're, uh, they probably spawned a foot or two underwater and the water dropped and they ain't giving up on their eggs. Well, I'm gonna walk around the corner and fish the steeper shoreline. Maybe they'll be spawning in there. Usually those treat me better, but I had to try here just to know for sure. This is more like it, steeper, rockier, might even uh, tie another bobber on just to cover more water more faster, mainly trying different depths. 
I think I have another bobber. I got a big one. I don't have any little guys. Yeah, I'll rig it up and just toss it on the bottom. All right, this one's rigged up. I need to find me a rock to stuff it into. That way the rod don't zip into the water. That'd be pretty sad. Big cast. Yeah, it's like a foot deep here as well. I'll let it sit and we'll see what happens. Yeah, this is relatively secure. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I've pretty much decided this place isn't the answer. It just doesn't have them good vibes either. I keep moving. Mobility is key for cats, I believe. So we are staying on the move. Found another bobber in my truck. So then we can fish multiple depths at one time. The spot looks much better, much rockier. Bigger rock, more little crevices. I have more coffee. Just feel decent about it. Well, there's some little minners swimming around. That's something new. Is that hung up on the bottom? Am I too deep there? Oh yeah. Well, we got one drifting around, one sitting on the bottom. Not the worst combo. Probably should make them both drift, actually. I'm gonna keep throwing darts till one sticks. Oh shoot! I got him. <laughs> Looked over and my bobber just took off. Oh, that's funny. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> Uh, slappy, I almost lost you. Yep, come here. That is the Iowa blue cat. <laughs> or the uh, spawning male channel cat. Oh, that's funny. Oh! Oh! Prime form, Bauer. Oh, man. You know, sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself. Unfor or fortunately, I give myself plenty of material to laugh at. I think I will put Slappy a little more securely in the rocks if I'm going to walk away. Yeah, I think that'd be smart. Oh. Just to clarify, we do have blue cats, but uh, not in central Iowa. They stocked them in a couple southern Iowa lakes. But other than that, it's pretty much just the Missouri River. Any, anything in the middle of our state is a Chan. And they turn real blue during the spawn. The males do. I guess that's their ways to look big and tough for the females. It was fun seeing that bobber go under. Not as fun watching my rod <laughs> make its way into the water, but the bobber going under the water, that was, that was pretty cool. Well, we got some live action. Oh, there we go, yep. <laughs> That was pretty sweet. Hey! Are we on to something? Maybe. Man, they're too much fun on these rods. Yeah! The old doodle socket. They must not have wore him out enough. Or they're just angry. It's very possible.
Look this out. Yeah, they're they're just angry. <laughs> oh. Tuned up channel rats. Good times. Let's do that again. I think we should. Oh. <laughs> Easy. Huh. Shifty rocks. Can't believe I ran all the way to that fishing rod without eating it. Um, I haven't done this in years. This is too much fun. It's pretty awesome when things work. Not that we're beating the brakes off of them, but catching channel cats in like two foot of water under a bobber. I mean, that's my idea of fun. Yeah, they're not super tuned up yet when you uh, do this and you run into them when they're really, really worked up about spawning. They'll hit your bait so hard that your bobber smacks the water before it disappears. Or you blink and it's just gone. They're just angry, angry fish. Keep my head on a swivel. I feel like I'm running down the field on a kickoff right now because I got a bobber over here and a bobber over here and I'm just looking back and forth so I don't get laid out by surprise. It has happened before. It's not fun though. I'd rather be the guy doing the laying out than getting laid out if I had to pick. Those days are over, I ain't letting nobody out no more. Maybe a few more channel cats. Well, they, they've been beating me up pretty good so far too. Yeah, I think we've worked this bank over pretty good. I'm gonna head around the corner and try over there. On two on two, ready break. Felt right, because we were talking about football and stuff. All right. Slappy, do your thing, bud. Okay, you shouldn't have to worry about it getting yanked in there. I don't think. Gotta get a bite first. Okay. Oh, got a bite. And he dropped it. That was quick. That was more like what I expected it to be like. That's funny, you turn around. Bobber's gone. Okay, we'll put her right back where she was. Maybe he'll be right back there. Yep, there he is. Get out of the whole rock. Got him. <laughs> yep, he went right back to where he came from. <laughs> oh, sweet. Very gratifying. Not a big dog, but an angry dog. And a colored up dog. Just happened to drop it right in front of his face. Easy. That's more like it, right there. Oh, we got another one. Got him. I was setting up my other camera real quick. And we just had a, another one. Oh, we started off pretty slow. Got a lot more exciting real fast. Come here. Little quick double action's pretty awesome. I'm, uh, like I said, they're really tuned up when they're on the spawn, so I'm gonna get these back right quick. They'll go right back to their nest and raise some more little catfish, and it was nice of them to let me have a good time. All right, see ya. <laughs> oh, that was pretty sweet. Drew blood. I'll make that trade every time. 
far as cut bait goes, I don't think it really matters. This is cut sucker. I think it's more important just getting it close to them. I would love to have some shad, but they've been hard to find lately. You know, a little bit steeper, bigger rock. Getting them. How many of them are off this little point? At least two. I think one of the funnest parts of this is I've literally never done this here. I just thought it looked good and we'd give her a shot. Now I know. Some of the finer points of this, if you're wondering, is I like braid for bobber fishing because it floats and if it does, the current sucks it under whatever, you know, it cuts the water better for hook sets. But I like heavier braid than my leader. That way, if you get snagged, which you're fishing around rocks and stuff like this, it's gonna happen. You just break your hook off and then you save your swivel, sinker, and expensive bobbers, so. I'm all about saving money. I'm also pretty good at spending it, so when I have a chance, when I can put together something to help me save a few bucks, I'm all about it. Speaking of snags, I think I'm snagged right there. Try close to the rocks before we slide down the bank. Fun thoughts while you're sitting on the river bank, or reservoir bank in this case. I wonder who named Doodle Socken Doodle Socken and why they named it Doodle Socken. I don't see any correlation between the funny word and this. Maybe they just thought it sounded cool. I find it entertaining. It's a fun word to say. I will continue to ponder this as I make my way down, down the bank. Uh, is that a fish? Yeah, nibbling. Oh! Thought I broke him off. What snapped? Where I missed him. Wonder what that snap was. Wonder if it was the bobber hitting. I don't know. It's weird. I felt. Just had a feeling I was gonna get a bite. And then I did, but I whiffed him. So apparently that feeling didn't help me much. See how angry he is? My fresh cut bait is not so fresh. It's getting warm. Oh, there he goes. Apparently he is angry. I whiffed him twice? Wow. He's getting plenty of free meals. He might be full after that one. Trying a different spot, different kind of rock, bigger rock. It's either gonna be better or worse. Once again, another place I've never fished. Which, my favorite places to fish are places I've never fished. Well, logically speaking, this place, this spot had to be better or worse than the other one. And it appears to be the latter. It's hoping for one more, just because it's fun, but I had plenty of fun. Now it's time to head back to the house and, and do my chores. Got some chainsawing to do, but... Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you want to support my channel, uh, best way to do it is to buy some apparel. Got that linked in the description. Got sun shirts, hats, sweatshirts, things like that. And that means a lot. But if you don't want to do any of them things, I totally get it. I just hope you enjoyed the video and I appreciate the heck out of you taking time to watch. Hope you catch a giant.